Previously on Backpacker Diaries. We shouldn't count our chickens before they hatch I'm here. planning on skiing tonight. I'm not going to carry those suckers in if there's no snow. Well, we're finally getting up into some solid snow. I'm pulling a sled for the first time. It seems to be working fine so far, so we'll see how we go. You're cruising right along there. I don't know, you're making it look pretty easy over there. March 30th, 2017. We are up at the Tuna Yurt. It was forecast to possibly rain in Park City today, so it's nice to be up above 8,600 feet where it is coming down is some fresh snow here. I'm gonna go and try to get my sled on with Little Blue here. Christy is bringing up her all-terrain setup. Going turtle style again. Cowabunga, dude. Here I am sitting at 8,950 feet, about 350 feet above the yurt, and I'm getting set for my first extreme sledding experience here. I'm sitting on top of the snowshoes with my pack on and a little pad for a little added comfort. So we'll see how I go. How was that? Fine. Yeah, I'm finding that I pretty much have to use my legs to steer. At first I thought I could use my poles as kind of an oar, but that's clearly not gonna work. It's with this primitive transportation device, yeah, just keeping my legs flayed out front to steer seems to be the most practical. But I'm still modifying my extreme backcountry sledding game, so uh, we'll see how it goes. We're looking down on the yurt now, and now that we're into late March, it's easy to spot the spring that's just north of the yurt. And a beautiful sunny day. 
up here in the Uintas. Giving you a peek at the yurt here. Got a nice sized pile of wood outside the door with more on backup in a little shed next door. Some shovels here at the moment. Watch your head. It's a, it's a low door. Then there's the wood stove. Propane setup if you like. Propane lamp there. Room for eight to sleep, I, but I reckon it'd be a little crowded if there were eight people with eight packs here. And then last but not least, the disco ball for those late night yurt dance parties. Before we head down on March 30th here, just uh, taking some time to enjoy some lunch. And today is actually a special day in Christy Bergen's history. You want to talk about what happened today? About what? One year ago? One year ago today, or about two o'clock. Probably about right now. Yeah, I was skiing in the trees and I hit a stump in this spring powdered skin and ruptured my Achilles, my left foot. Full rupture, pretty pretty tough. I skied out Came very carefully to the ski patrol and then found out what was wrong with my, my ruptured Achilles. Anyway, the injury was obviously a mess and very uncomfortable, and the surgery was very uncomfortable, but what I didn't want to talk about is my recovery. And I think follow your protocol for um, physical therapy and everything, pretty standard for recovery. But my key to recovery for being one year out today and hiking and skiing, I'm on my eighth day in a row of making turns, it was routine was staying fit throughout it all. Whether it was doing one-legged push-ups or pull-ups or Pilates, I made it a priority three days a week, a minimum, um, getting out there and being active and doing something that I could do and keeping the routine. And that routine increased as my fitness increased and my strength is back and my mobility is back and my motor is more than back stronger than I was I think before the injury so the key to recovery is don't lose the routine don't become a couch potato and make fitness um, a priority and you'll be set soon after your injury so for anybody out there that's just had a major surgery a major injury it sounds like your best advice is to just follow those rehab instructions and establish a routine and stick with it stick with it. The hardest thing to get back in fitness is your routine. You know, becoming a couch potato is, is, is a death sentence to fitness. So stick with the routine and keep chugging along and you'll be back at it enjoying whatever it is that you enjoy. You got a couple good runs out there so that's just the perfect way to celebrate your injury anniversary. Happy injury anniversary. Well happy injury anniversary Christy. Yay! Staring at myself square in the face Watching the pieces fall into places never been to Places seldom seen I'm going places that I never dream On the next Backpacker Diaries. I've made it down to the West Fork of the Wash here, just trying to seek out a good campsite. The biggest factor for me is just finding some shelter from that wind. This ain't only what it takes to turn 